Hello and welcome to the Marine Channel. I'm very excited because I am going to show you a UK premiere. It's hole number two in the world and it's a boat that I've admired from afar since the first time I saw a press shot. What is it? It's the Bavaria SR33 in all its glory. I'm just going to walk around the pontoon here so we can see the side profile on it because it is a really handsome boat and what it promises from the outside it really delivers on the inside as well so I'm going to jump on board and tell you a little bit about it. So it's 11.4 meters it's a bit of a cheat when they call it 33 it's kind of really 35 36 feet but I'll tell you what this feels like a bigger boat than that even. So here we are swim platform at the back we've got this wonderful seating area looking aft nice big platform here as well uh, if you're wondering just down here that's a big sort of lazarette area just for storing fenders and bits and pieces there apparently there's the option i think they have a sort of coffee table arrangement there but as this is hole two i can't show you that <laughs> okay so step up into the cockpit area and we've got this huge u-shaped seating area with the fixed table and uh, now these seat backs of course uh, can move backwards oh I'm going to see if I can do it on my own yes I can and now we have a larger sun pad area facing aft this is rather nice I will tidy my toys up after I finish showing you it all see if I can push that back on my own I do all these things one handed yay there you go and then we've got this enormous table here. This one's fixed. You could probably sit six or so people around that. And then what I really like is this design for the hard top here. So massive hard top. Now this one's actually got a glass reinforced plastic GRP hard top, which means you've got this sliding area the standard on the boat is that this is actually a canvas roof and if you have the standard canvas roof then that opens even wider so you pay your money and takes your choice this owner's gone for the hard top with the solid panel but as I say standard is a canvas panel that slides back I just love the massive stainless steel sort of uh, I don't know what you call them stanchions holding the roof up here and actually it looks like they're kind of outside but all this area here this is all glazed so actually this is on the inside of the boat so yes you'll need to keep them nice and shiny but they're not going to be getting quite as salty and seawatery as they might if they're on the outside uh, up here as well we've got we've got covers that just zip in here and they stretch all the way down and they actually clip on behind that rear seat there over here to the galley area now this is a galley up design so on this side here we've got a we've got a sink just move a little bit of paperwork here in there with a mixer tap and then we've got a two burner ceramic hob there you can have a gas hob there if you do then storage for the gas bottle will be down here as we haven't got gas we've got some extra storage there i do like these sort of glazed panels that are flush because it makes this whole area look very smart and then when you open up you've got your fridge in behind there very nice indeed move forward to the uh, the helm position here so this has got the larger chart plotters these are actually 11 inch chart plotters and what's really nice is the whole area is sort of glazed so oh <laughs> turn these things away everything is behind glass so it looks like a single kind of screen this sort of thing you'd see in a bmw or mercedes or high end or something like that very very modern um twin helms obviously We've got a bow thruster here, we've got our trim tabs here. This one's got joystick, uh, which is an option. But a nice helm position, and you can see how far forward the glazing goes. So you've got this big sort of atrium area that uh, we'll benefit from when we go below in a moment because that adds a whole load of light. And then over here on the port side, we've got this big sort of shades lounge area, which is playing host to my backpack at the moment. And there's sort of like a little, I say navigator seat, of course we don't use charts and that anymore, but somewhere sociable for a guest to sit when you're under power. And we've also got our side window here so we can bark orders <laughs> to our crew. 
and uh, that's very very useful it's amazing how difficult it is to hear one another when you're uh, behind glass of course with the roof open that's going to help now let's get super excited i love the upstairs of this boat but i think the downstairs is also a bit of a revelation so down into the main uh, saloon area and the reason i think this boat works so well is that rather than try and uh, partition that off with a bulkhead they've left this open so you know okay it's not as private as having a, a completely separate area but if you've got kids that's perfect um, you can use it as a day bed you can sort of just you know slob out there during the day it's lovely and cool got great natural light but what it does it just makes this whole area feel really really big and open over here we've got another sink remember our uh, hubs and so forth are upstairs so this remains as a work surface and then what we've got is lots and lots of storage and another big fridge down here this has got this sort of light oak effect which works really nice with a darker floor uh, this table is optionally uh, high low normally that would be fixed um, and then this one's been trimmed in leather as well i do like the owner's taste in regard to how this boat is set up just uh panning across here everything you see up here is storage all on struts really nice quality on all of this there's our main sort of switch panel there's all our systems we've got our fusion stereo here as well and then again loads and loads of storage everywhere you look you've got storage so what do you reckon nice and there you go that's that light flooding in from above having the screen so far forward gives us so much light inside it's fantastic oh there's another big long cupboard here again with lots of storage and then our heads down here is a shared heads day heads uh proper separate wet room there with the control so you've got you've got a perspex or a glass panel feels like glass panel there that pulls over so it keeps that area wet keeps this area nice and dry again lots of storage proper big porcelain bowl which is very very nice and then more storage up there behind the mirrors and then very quickly we'll just move into the aft cabin here big wide door nice little area for sitting down putting your socks on <laughs> and then you've got this big bed down here which I'm not sure the camera even does it justice. That's again, king size, I would say. Got reading lights either side. You've got a blind at the end there because you've got that porthole. Lots of light, lots of headroom. Just a lovely, lovely boat. And this one opens here as well for a bit of fresh air. So it's hardly surprising that this boat is causing such a stir down here at the show. There's loads of people getting on board, so I had to be a little bit uh, quick on my tour for you. But I think it's absolutely lovely, and I think Bavaria are going to have a massive success with this boat. So I've just taken another opportunity to hop on board and give you a view of the, uh, the bow area, because we didn't have a chance earlier on. And I didn't want to get away in the way of... Uh, potential customers but it's worth a, a long linger because this sun pad area is gorgeous cup holders either side comfortably take three people there and it also gives you a chance to give a bit of a view back over the boat and a nice little touch here i can imagine that this is a lovely place to sit i know it helps with uh, anchor recovery and all that sort of stuff when you're looking to see and direct the uh, helmsman but uh, when you're at anchor just sitting there looking across the water would be absolutely gorgeous nice isn't it <laughs> but listen in the meantime thank you very much for joining me please like subscribe share do all the usual stuff um, most importantly come back and watch more it's the reason we do these videos so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye bye